Hey guys, welcome back to Celebrity Snap. In today's video, we're going to be looking at Michael Jackson versus Prince's house. Watch until the end to see the house that's the winner. Let's get started. Prince's house. In 1987, Prince built a 65,000 square foot recording complex where he spent most of his time in Chanhassen, Minnesota and named it Paisley Park. The property has a relaxing purple hue music room, a private nightclub that can hold 1,000 guests that has a dance floor, projectors and TVs, production spaces, including a soundstage, recording studios, and rehearsal hall on the first floor, private quarters, executive offices, and a vault holding Prince's master recordings, and a stockpile of unreleased music on the second floor. It's beautiful. Prince's estate stated that the home and recording studio cost him $10 million back in 1987, and they were not for sale, and turned it into a museum, which has remained open to the public for tours from six months after his death in 2016. Michael Jackson's House After being deserted for close to 12 years, Michael Jackson's 2,800-acre ranch in Santa Barbara County, California, finally got a buyer in December 2020 who paid a decidedly discounted price of $22 million. Given that the real estate firm had put it up for a starting price of $100 million, the living space consists of a 12,600-square-foot six-bedroom mansion, three guest houses, a 5,500-square-foot movie theater, a pool house, tennis court, and a four-acre lake that has a waterfall. Neverland, the name that Michael gave it, was more than just a home to him. It was also his amusement park and featured a floral clock, petting zoo, artistic garden statues, two railroads, a carousel, ferris wheel, zipper, octopus, wave swinger, pirate ship, super slide, bumper cars, roller coaster, and an amusement arcade. So which house is the winner? Prince's house is the winner. It has a bigger living space is well-maintained and seems set to remain in its original state for the foreseeable future. Unlike Michael's property, whose new owner has renamed it Sycamore Valley Ranch. Thanks for watching.